Everybody is trying to steal your customers. Yep, everybody is. And what this means is that your customers have lots of choices. Customer loyalty may be the most valuable asset your company has. Because customers who are loyal aren't going to bolt when the competitor comes up with a better offer. They'll be more likely to stick with you when times get tight. And they're always going to tell their friends how great you are. So if customer loyalty is so important, how do most companies create customer loyalty? Well, for most companies, loyalty is a game of tit for tat. It's like bribery for business. Hey, if you buy nine smoothies, I'll give you the tenth one free. You want a free ticket on my airline? All you gotta do is fly 25,000 miles. If you give me your email address, you know what I'll do? I'll send you some coupons every week. Well, let's think about it. What kind of loyalty does this create? It creates what I call transactional loyalty, where the customer really isn't loyal to you. The customer's loyal to the, loyal to the deal. Transactional loyalty can move the needle. It can generate business, but only as long as you keep those offers coming and only until your competitors come up with a better offer. Let's think about what happens when this transactional loyalty evolves into true loyalty. Loyalty where the customer isn't just loyal to the deal or the offer, but the customer is really loyal to you, is loyal to her relationship with you. Transactional loyalty is fleeting. It's vulnerable. True loyalty lasts. It isn't just based on the last deal. It's based on the customer's long-term, sustainable relationship with you. Let's focus on true loyalty.